The new player piloted attack helicopter has come to rust and is sure to shake up the game. But with its larger size, your old minicopter garages won't work, so I've designed a few bases ranging from beginner to advanced to help you keep your new toy safe. This first design is a simpler variant, made to accommodate the new helicopter's little over one tall by three long frame using a high external gate garage base. Built out of a 2x1 starter, this base is perfect for groups wanting to get something up as fast as possible to fit up to two new helicopters in. The second design is the more advanced version, using a cheap simple bunker seal to hide the helicopter from outside view and remove the 2 HV rocket vulnerability from the previous garage. A low wall underneath the garage door prevents any unwelcome guests from hopping in your heli, but an easy to seal roof bunker ensures total safety. This design is perfect for the small groups that have worked all wiped to afford a brand new heli, as well as the more seasoned and distrustful veterans out there. A quick demolition of this twig will have you ready to hop in your whirly bird and heed the call of the sky. Without further delay, let's move on to the builds. For the first high external gate design, you're going to need about 1500 wood, a little over 9k stone, and a big flat piece of land along with your gate. We'll start with a low foundation and two raised foundations behind it. This will make the base for what will become our 2x1 starter. Upgrade your 2x1 and make sure you've got some doors slapped on it. With the starter finished, put down six foundations with two raised triangle foundations on the sides of one end. Demolish the square foundations between the triangles and line up your gate so that the edges of it are clipping right into the edges of the triangle foundations. Put half walls above the edges of the low foundations and then full walls on everything. Finish with roofs on top of everything, and then upgrade the whole thing to stone. With the garage built, it's time to get some helis in here. Hover the heli just above the ground and it should be no problem to get in there. The second heli will fit easily next to the first, and the control key can be used to drive them right back out. Like I showed earlier, you can fill out the 2x1 to be nice and cozy. Electronics such as a turret for defense, a smart switch for easy door opening, or other amenities can be added by using the triangles at the edge. There is one drawback to this base though. Two HV rockets can be shot through the gate to destroy both helicopters, and replacing with a wooden gate only makes you vulnerable to flame raids. Our second design will solve this issue. First thing we want to do is put down three triangle foundations, one low and two raised, then we're going to come out with square foundations. This design will cost about 2100 wood, 13,300 stone, and 100 metal to build. Once we cap our four square foundations with a triangle, we can build out our 2x1 just like we did on the last base. Upgrade this section to stone and you'll have a nice starter to live out of until you're ready to finish. We're going to build three triangles off of the side of the 2x1 for access to the outside as well as the second floor. Make sure you're filling slots with doors and upgrading to stone as you go along.
we're going to finish off the route up to the second floor with a door and then drop down to finish off this triangle honeycomb. Next, we're going to come over and build two doors for access to where we'll seal and unseal our bunker. Upgrade everything here except the two high triangle foundations to stone. The two high triangle foundations will get upgraded to metal. This low triangle isn't really necessary and can be demolished or left if you choose. Now we're going to place a half wall and a full wall on both sides of this square foundation. We want to place a square frame here but make sure it doesn't get upgraded. Continuing onto the roof, place a half wall with a door frame above it, but do not upgrade the half wall. Then place half walls along the edge until we get to the triangle, which can take full walls. Place a triangle floor here and then full walls on top of the half walls you just placed, mirroring on the other side. Get floors on everything before finishing the seal with two half walls. Upgrade everything here to stone except for the half wall beneath the door frame. That will get replaced with a low wall and then upgrade it to stone. With your garage door placed, your hangar is now ready to accept your shiny new attack helicopter. By lining it up, you should be able to pull in easy and then open the garage door and move back and forth a little bit until you're able to dismount. Once you've dismounted, you may need to push the heli a little bit to make sure the whole thing is in the garage before you close the door. Although no one can enter our garage, the base is still susceptible to attacks until we seal our bunker. To secure our helicopter and seal our bunker, all we need to do is place an upgrade one triangle floor between the two high triangle foundations and a square roof facing inward towards the base. Sealing this will only run you 75 wood and 300 stone. With that, you've totally secured your very own attack helicopter. The bunker seal that was already at one health is totally untouched by rocket splash and flame. You're ready to resume terrorizing the skies. All you need to do is break the square frame and you're good to go. never have a problem pulling out with this base, and can even use the smart switch to automatically close the garage door when you leave. If you're nervous about nakeds with jackhammers trying to take a look at your helicopter, just upgrade these triangles to armored and you'll have nothing to worry about. For those of you wanting to store two attack helicopters at the same time but still wanting to bunker it, I've got a design based on a 3x2 with triangles at the end that will let you do just that. Should be no problem to fit two helicopters in here and back them out with ease. If you've got spare frags laying around, the same seal will work in metal.
Feel free to build this last design on top of a 2x2 that you started your wipeout in. It can act as a nice way to honeycomb as well as a convenient place to store your helicopters. Thanks guys for making it this far into the video, I really appreciate it. Make sure to comment any feedback or criticism you have on the builds, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future.